Dear students, in this video, I am trying to explain how to draw the conventional representation of smooth curves. In this figure, this figure shows the isometric figure of X channel and internal threads. This is an example of X channel threads that is called bold. This is an example of internal thread that is called net. This isometric figure can be represented in another way. That means by using line diagram, this can be represented externally or internally. That figure is the this figure is line diagram of external threads, and this figure is line diagram of internal threads. That means the diagram or object is represented by using a line diagram. Our external and the internal threads represent to be using a line diagram. The method of representation is called conventional representation of screw threads. Here, look at here. This is the conventional representation of internal threads. This is the front view. This is the side view. In our front view, these are the major dia. External line indicate the major diameter what is the diameter this is the major diameter and this line shows the minor diameter same way in the side view two circles are there one is full circle another is three by four circle while we are representing conventional representation conventionally representing representation out of two circles, one of the circle is 3 by 4 circle. That means, that is the method to represent a side view of our external threads. That means, in our side views, definitely one circle should be 3 by 4 circle. That means, inside circle, that is minor diameter circle is 3 by 4 circle. In the case of external threads, uh, in the external threads uh, at the side view, one of the circles is 3 by 4 circle. That is the representation of external threads. In the case of internal threads, here shows this is a picture of conventional representation of internal threads. This is front view, this is side view. In this front view, this line is called, this diameter is called minor diameter and this one is the major diameter. In the case of side view, there are two circles are there. One is full circle and another is 3 by 4 circle. Here, the 3 by 4 circle is drawn externally. 3 by 4 circle is drawn externally. That means while we are representing an internal threads in side view, one of the circle is should be 3 by 4 circle. From that we can understand this is a symbol of conventional representation of internal thread. But in the case of external thread, that 3 by, circle, 3 by 4 circle is, is inside the full circle that means this is the representation of external threads main difference in between the external and internal thread out of two circle in the case of external thread the out of two circle innermost circle is 3 by 4 circle whereas in the case of internal thread out of two circle out of two circles one of the external circle having 3 by 4. So, that is the main difference between external and the internal conventional representation of screw thread. This is external representation and this is internal representation. In the front view, we have to know that the outside, the black line is called outside diameter or major diameter whereas this is minor diameter. In the case of side view, full circle represents minor diameter and the 3 by 4 circle represents the major diameter. 
in the case of uh, external thread side view full circle represent major dia and 3 by 4th circle represent minor diameter that is the main difference between external and internal thread while we are trying to attempt its conventional representation okay